Welcome to the Colorado Springs Philharmonic. I'm Nathan Newbro, I'm CEO here, and I'm joined by our music director, Joseph Caballé Domenic. We'll be talking about Igor Stravinsky's Rite of Spring. A piece that has 101 years. 101 it was premiered years. 101 year ago. Yeah. <laughs> and I really hope that here it won't happen what happened in the premiere, where everyone just stand up and went completely, you know, uh, uh, upset because they didn't like the piece, which actually it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It, yeah. There are some record. There are some writings that actually what uh, what upset people was not really the music was the stage because that we don't have to forget it was premiere as a ballet. Oh, okay. And obviously the music was like a shock for them because it's a music that they were not expecting. But uh, apparently the ballet, the staging, the, the the history, the way that they present that was even more shocking to the audience because the the ballet it's about. Uh, pagan ritual where mm -hmm. everyone is sitting and looking at a very young dancer, how she dances until she dies. So it's, it's kind of a sacrifice, you know, uh, to have a, a better spring. And, and already the theme, it's kind of dark one, mm -hmm. and the staging of the premiere was like very shocking for them. And obviously the music was kind of totally unfamiliar for them, and that's why people just stand up. And, and you know, it was a very big controversy. But that was 101 years ago. Nowadays, that's not happening anymore. So people accept that uh, we are in, in front of probably one of the most important pieces of the 20th century, and a very challenging piece for every orchestra. So I think that's one of the pieces where you know, orchestra says, okay, let's have a, a good dinner, you know, and that's that's one of the pieces. And it's a huge piece. It's uh, utilizes a huge orchestra. It's a huge orchestra yeah. stage. You know, it's it's winds at five. It requires instruments that are not like normal like an alto flute, uh, or, or they have, you know, other instruments, percussion instruments, uh, celesta, everything. So it's, it's a huge piece. And actually, it's, it's not very long. It's just half an hour piece. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's an amazing piece. Yeah, and it u utilizes the orchestra in a whole new way. Now, this was Stravinsky early in his career. As that was early in his career. He was, but it was not his first ballet. Mm -hmm. So Stravinsky, uh, he got into, let's say, the P Paris uh, musical scene. Uh, through the hands of the Aglev and the Ballets Russe. And he did the first one, which was uh, the Firebird and uh, Petrushka. And at some point, then they decided to do this one, which was the third one, and, and more, more elaborated than, than Petrushka, and even more elaborated than first, than, than Firebird. Right. right. And the, you know, the opening bars of it is this, this trance-like bassoon solo. It's, it, it, it's, it sort of puts you in a, in a different mood. It puts you in a different place. I think it puts you really like 5,000 years ago. That's, yeah. you know, I mean, starting a piece where you don't hear anything and then suddenly a bassoon playing the highest notes that, that, that they can play, really. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this kind of repetitive but never the same motif, uh, it puts you like 5,000 ago. It's like, what, what's going on here? You know? right. And then the orchestra gets in, in, into this new rhythm or new rhythmic uh, feeling that, like, in a very primitive uh, feeling, you know. And that's that's the effect throughout the piece. I think it's it's about putting the listener in a in a different state of mind, in a different state of being. That, that and that's one of the things that propels this music, yep. propels this composer, and uh, and why we love we love playing Stravinsky. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone, almost everyone, forgot that it's a ballet. You know, it's it's a piece that it's played as a concert version everywhere, and and, and the music just drives you to this other time and this other situation. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like to know more about the Philharmonic, you can join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or go to our website, csphilharmonic.org. Thanks so much. Thanks.